Hey, I'm Coach Kozak from Hasfit, here today to bring you another free professional workout routine. When I'm all done demonstrating the workout, make sure you click the link in the video description. It'll shoot you over to Hasfit's website where we have the workout instructions. All right, let's get this thing started. The modified jumping jack is a low impact version of the classic jumping jack exercise. It's great to get your heart rate up and not have to worry about hurting your knees. We're stepping side to side, bringing our arms up with our elbows bent and kicking one leg out to the side. There's a little bit of rhythm involved in this one. So it's one, two, and leg up. One, two, and leg up. Return your arms to the side every time. An incline dumbbell fly is an excellent movement to isolate your upper chest or pectoris major muscles. We're going to start with two dumbbells and a bench press set to about a 45 degree incline. With your feet firmly planted in the ground, we're going to lie back. We're going to bend both of our elbows. We're going to stretch our chest and then we're going to squeeze it up to the top. I want you to go ahead and keep that same bend in your elbows throughout the movement. I like to say it's like you're wrapping your arms around a tree because we're going to keep that same bend the whole time. What I don't want you to do is to straighten your arms out as you come down. Instead, keep that same bend in the elbows throughout the movement, breathing in and breathing out. That is the incline dumbbell fly. For dumbbell squats, it's important that you start with your feet shoulder width apart. Good posture. The first movement every time you do a squat is going to be breaking at your hips. So your butt goes back first, and then you bend your knees until your quads get to parallel to the ground and back up. The entire time, keeping your back straight. You don't want your back to slouch and bend over. Butt back first, head up, chest up, and sitting down. So if you were to bend your knees first, then once you got down to the bottom, you'd be on your shoulders. We don't want that. So butt back first, head, chest up. Finish your movement straight up top. That's the dumbbell squat. A rear delt fly is an isolation exercise for our rear delts and our round boards. The first thing that we want to do is set up our seat so that when we're sitting down, our arms are parallel with our chest. Next, we need to set our weight and also make sure that both of our arms allow us to get a full range of motion and that they're set equally. I usually put them at the furthest setting inwards. Next, we're going to grab onto the handles with our chest up against the pad and then our elbows with a slight bend, almost as if we're wrapping our arms around a tree. Keeping that same bend in our elbows, I want you to pretend like somebody put their finger in the middle of your back and I want you to squeeze that thing. I want you to control both ends of the movement, keeping that same bend in your elbow the entire time. What I don't want you to do is at the end straighten your arms because that's going to work for triceps. But instead, we're trying to isolate those rear delts, controlling both ends of the exercise. And that's a rear delt fly. A dumbbell clean plus press is an upper body strength exercise that mimics the Olympic traditional barbell lift. So we're going to start with two dumbbells, feet or shoulder width apart. First thing we're going to do is a dumbbell clean. So we're going to start by swinging the dumbbells back behind our body, swinging them back up, and then immediately once they reach the top, we're pressing overhead with our elbows in. Now we're going to repeat that, swing it back down, swing it back up, and press. So Starting from here is our starting position. Dumbbells swing down, back behind your bodies, up, and pressing overhead. Keep a little bend in your knees while doing this, and a little weight back in your hips. That's the dumbbell clean and press. A low plank from the knees is an excellent beginner abdominal movement. We're going to start from our knees. Down on our forearms with our weight equally distributed. Key on this one is we don't want our bump way up in the air because then we're not working our core at all. But instead, you want to bring your hips forward and 
until your back is nice and straight. And we're going to breathe throughout the entire movement, just holding right here. And that's a low plank from the knees. A machine preacher curl is an excellent way to isolate your biceps. The first thing we're going to do is set the seat to make sure that we can get our entire upper arm on the pad. If the seat's too low, then you'll only be able to put your elbow on the pad. So make sure it's high enough where you can have your whole upper arm there. After selecting an appropriate weight, we're going to grab the handles with both hands, getting a nice full range of motion, pulling up and controlling on the way down, all the way up and all the way down is very important. Also, make sure that you're not using your whole body and pulling back and coming down and pulling back and pulling down. That's if you have too much weight. So instead, only should be bending at the elbow joint. The elbow joint is the only thing that should be moving while performing this exercise. Make sure to control it all the way up and control it all the way down. Double side to side shuffle is an excellent low impact cardio movement to get your heart rate up and keep your ankles, knees, and back safe. We're going to start from a standing position with our shoulders square, good posture. We're going to take two shuffles to the left and then two shuffles to the right. Just step it side to side, stand light on the balls of our feet throughout the movement. Nice and light, making sure you keep your knees bent and a little weight in your hips as you shuffle side to side. Thanks for working out with me today. Make sure you click the link in the video description. It'll shoot you over to Hasbit's website where we have the workout instructions. If you enjoyed this workout, make sure you check out Hasbit's website where we have hundreds of additional free workouts. We have our free meal plans to lose or gain weight as well as our complete 30 to 90 day fitness programs. All there, all for free, just for you. Please do me a favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It'll really help keep this great service free. Like us on our Facebook fan page or follow us on Twitter. We'll send you the best daily motivation. And while you're at it, stop by our store, pick up a poster or a t-shirt, whatever it takes to help you stay motivated and on track. I'm Coach Kozak from Hasfit, and I'll see you at your next workout.